Hey YouTube, Will here from All Electric, back again with a follow-up video from one that I did showing off the Ghostbuster Mobile. No, I'm kidding. The one car in front of me right here though, if you saw my last video, looks like the Ghostbuster Mobile. I posed the question in my last video, are we really training the autopilot system? And I took a look at one intersection in particular that was giving me a problem in the right-hand lane because of how difficult it was for autopilot to go through. And so where we left off was 2019.16.2 software update, and it was still trying to cut over. So I have some new software footage for you. If you haven't checked out that last video that was the original test, I encourage you to go check it out. So I got a lot in store for you, so make sure you watch this video in its entirety, and let's jump right in. So the first software update is 2019.16.3. It was right after 16.2. Obviously, if you can tell from the software update, and we are going to follow this, looks like a lumberjack truck. Oh no, wait, I think he's going to cut all the way over. What? Excellent driving. Autopilot, please don't copy that. So we're heading through the intersection. You can see I'm in autopilot, and we're getting really close to that car on my left-hand side. Ouch. So not starting off with a good note. You can see the blue lines there never pick up that right hand side and it's getting super close to that car there. But I have to watch this again in slow-mo. I mean, come on, man. You can't be cutting across two lanes of traffic right in the intersection. Okay, let's move on to the next software update. So the next software update we got is 2019.20.1. So you can see I'm probably maybe seven or 10 cars back from the green light. So we have a lot of cars to follow. So you can tell them in autopilot because the blue steering wheel and two blue lines. We're going through, it asked me to put my hands on the wheel and it starts to go over to the left hand side and I have to correct it again. I have another test with the same software update and yes, I'm doing Rainbow Road because I needed a little bit more cowbell. And I happen to catch this green light, so we are gonna head straight through. And you can see that the autopilot immediately tries to go over into that left-hand lane. All right, we got another 2019.2.1. Light turns green. We're following this vehicle. Everything is looking good. The lines look like they're going towards the right-hand lane and then it jumps back and forth and it starts to go to the left-hand side. Let's look at that one more time. Now, take a look at those two blue lines and you're gonna see them jump quickly to the left lane and back again. So the autopilot's getting confused and then you can see the wheel turn towards the left and I have to take over. So another test here, 2019.20.2.1, same software version as the last test and you can see it's going right over to that left-hand lane. And there is a car there, so I have to take over. And of course, I want to take over too because every takeover is training the system, right? I mean, that's at least what we're told. So here is another test, same software update. And you can see here that the autopilot is going to make it through. Now, what I think is happening here is it's getting a clear view of that white line on the opposite side of the intersection on this right hand side or the right hand side of this lane that we need to go into. So if you look closely, I'm going to go slow. You can see this blue line on the center screen actually pick up that white line. And I think that's why we were able, you can see how wide that line's getting right there. And I think that's why the autopilot's able to go correctly through the intersection in that particular instance. Definitely let me know down in the comment section below if you guys have a different theory. So here we go, same software, 20.2.1. And we are going through and it's made it through again. You can see that that's two in a row. Made it through, that blue line is getting nice and wide so it's picking up that right hand side of the lane. Man, I am on cloud nine here. We got a new software update. I'm sure this one is also gonna be successful. This is at night, and we are making our way through the intersection, and it veers right to the left, right in a car. 
So, okay, that was at night. We got a new software update. Here's one where I actually catch the green light. So we are gonna head straight through. Got a couple cars, nobody around us except for this white car that comes out. And you can see that it actually went into the left-hand lane. And that's probably because maybe that car was kind of in our lane. Actually got the green light again in a different test and that we didn't have a white SUV come out and it still goes right into the left-hand lane. So after two successful tests on an earlier software update, we get this new software update and it's fail, fail, fail. So another test on the same software update, 20.4.2, and it is bouncing back and forth and I give it a little, little nudge. I'll pull very slightly on the right-hand side of the steering wheel and it's actually able to go straight through. I wanna take a closer look at that. Look at those blue lines bouncing back and forth. The autopilot is struggling on which lane am I supposed to be in. And that little nudge that I gave to the steering wheel was enough for it to realize that it was in the right lane. So let's take a look at that again. And you can see my right hand at the bottom of the screen, just pull ever so slightly and just give like a little corrective weight to the steering wheel just to let it know this is the right lane. So here's another test going through the same, following another car in the right-hand lane, and you can see it's going straight for that left-hand lane through the intersection. There was nobody in the left-hand lane there. So 2019.20.4.2, same that we've seen. This is about the fifth test that we've seen uh, on this software update. Light turns green. We're heading through the intersection. In autopilot, you have that blue steering wheel, and it's going straight over into the left-hand lane. And I gave it some time because there was nobody right there. And I was hoping to, that I was gonna be able to kind of pull it back over, but I had to disengage. And you can see that it never picked up. That blue line stayed really tight and it never picked up that white line on the right-hand side where it got super wide that I've seen in successful tests. So here we have a break uh, for some emergency vehicles and once they go through it actually makes it through now i want to take a closer look at this again because you're going to see the blue lines are going to get nice and wide like i've said before you can see that blue line there right there on the screen it gets nice and wide when it picks up that right hand side of the road on the other side of the intersection and when it does that when it's able to see that white line, that's when it actually corrects itself, pulls back over and maintains that right hand lane position versus getting in to that left lane. So overall, no software update, including the most current one is perfect on this intersection. So I'm gonna continue testing this intersection and I'll be sure to update you guys with another video really soon. If you haven't done so yet, head on over to Patreon and you can support this channel for as little as a dollar a month. And if you support me at one of the higher tiers, you actually get early access to all my YouTube videos that get posted over there before they get posted to YouTube. There's also lots of great articles and other content that I put over there that's exclusive to Patreon. So make sure you go over there and check it out. And I wanna give a huge shout out to our man Amin who's supporting me over there at my top tier, the all electric level. Thank you so much for your support and thank you to everybody else who's over there on Patreon supporting the channel. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. Share this video with a friend and I will see you guys in the next one.